I, I guess that the good years when we have water, business is good, attitudes are good, uh, uh, crime is down. So, you know, the, the whole attitude of a community changes when it's going through tough economic times. During our drought season, we uh, were feeding uh, about a thousand families, 800 to a thousand families every month, which uh, translated into about uh, uh, five to eight thousand people that were that were being fed. Uh, with everything in there for a uh, Thanksgiving dinner. It is, I think it's reported that about one third of uh, the community has direct connection to agriculture. So if you have a, a drought conditions or those kinds of things that impact uh, uh, our economy, you know, that's going to impact everything across the board. It is worthy of serious negotiation, discussion, innovation to try to solve this problem. Now to this country, specifically California, where heat is the story tonight. It is causing terrible problems. Twelve straight days of record-breaking triple-digit temperatures. The hardest-hit area of the state's Central Valley, where the death toll has been rising along with the temperature. In California, emergency departments are already overwhelmed. We are filled to capacity on any given day. Add an environmental crisis such as a heat wave, and that just, we get into meltdown. We have to drop what we're doing and attend the patient with heat stroke because that's a, a medical emergency. So basically, when heat stroke patients come in, we are taken away from the other patients who do need critical care also. My worry is if we have many days of high heat in the Sacramento Valley, say over 105 for a series of days, over 110, that will be inundated, emergency departments within California will not have the capacity to care for people. I had 1,200 and you know, I think 50 and I lost 653, so half the herd, close $70,000. Early freak storm came in, it was a hard financial hit. Extreme weather conditions are definitely something that I'm finding are becoming more erratic. Huge storms are harder to predict, it seems, these days. There are a number of instances in which ranchers have lost hundreds of animals um, to extreme weather conditions. There's high wind, 60, I believe 60 miles an hour gust, heavy rain, and they um, were exposed and suffered from hypothermia. In California, we've actually seen quite a bit of really sudden situations like fires, mudslides, floods, in which animals can become quickly displaced. Flames erupt in the hills of Oakland claiming property, and now tonight, at least 10 lives and the biggest urban fire in California history still burns out of control. The day before the Oakland Hills fire, I was stung by how incredibly warm it was. You could see all of a sudden these winds pick up the flames and the flames started to jump down the hill. And then as the, the fires got larger, the sky became darker and darker to the point but that at the time that we left, the sky, it was like nighttime. I'm going to try to make a stand uh, along Beachwood right now. I'm putting uh, two strike teams along Beachwood. All right. That was a very emotional time. Watching those winds move that fire down the hill was um, really shocking. We hiked up, and when we got to a certain point, um, there were no more homes. All the homes had burned. It was our home. It was where I had, you know, where I was when I had my children, where I raised my family. There was virtually nothing left.